On the driving test, everyone is expected to do a maneuver such as forward bay parking, reverse bay parking, or even parallel parking. But one in three people are also expected to do an emergency stop as well. But what is an emergency stop? Well, it's a maneuver to stop the vehicle you're in as quickly and safely as possible. This should only be performed to avoid an accident or a collision. You wouldn't be expected to look in your mirrors or anywhere else for this matter because you just really wouldn't have time in this sort of situation. Now, good news for you, the examiner will not ask you to do an emergency stop in a place like this. Instead, if you are asked to do an emergency stop, it will be on a road similar to this. Now, if you are the lucky devil who's been selected for an emergency stop on their test, the examiner will let you know before they go and ask you to perform the maneuver. Now, the examiner will show you the signal he will use to perform the maneuver. It looks a lot like this. They will also firmly say, stop. Now, don't start panicking. You will get plenty of warning before any of this takes place. Now, they'd normally say something like, shortly, I'm going to ask you to perform an emergency stop. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. When I give this signal, stop, I'd like you to stop the car as quickly and safely as possible. But before giving the signal, I'm going to look around the car to make sure it's all clear. So please don't perform the maneuver until I've checked around the car and given the signal. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Once you've given them the confirmation, they'll then ask you to drive on when it's safe to do so. Well, I guess the question now is, how do we do it? Well, you'd be expected to perform this manoeuvre at a normal speed for the road. Nice quiet road like this, you could be anywhere between 20 and 30 miles per hour. So when the examiner says stop, you would first of all press the brake firmly but without making the car skid. You'd then immediately press the clutch all the way down to prevent the car from stalling. Once the car's fully stopped, you're going to pull the handbrake up to prevent the car from rolling any direction. Finally, you're going to put the car into neutral. Why do you do this? Well, if you've had to perform an emergency stop, there's probably a good reason for it, which means you could be a bit shaken up. This is why you put the handbrake on, and this is why you put the car into neutral, so your foot doesn't slip off the clutch, and you end up stalling or going forward anyway. It's also going to keep the car in a locked up safe position. Your final thing is going to be to have a quick look around the car and check those blind spots. Just build a picture around that car so you know what's going on. Okay, let's go over that one more time in order. So the examiner puts the hand up to give you the signal to stop. You, one. Firmly press the brake, bringing the car to a complete stop. Two, press the clutch in immediately after the brake to avoid stalling the car. Three, as soon as the car is fully stopped, put that handbrake on. Four, put the car into neutral. And finally, number five, check around the car and rest. You've done your maneuver. At the end of this, the examiner's then going to say something along the lines of, thank you for that. I won't ask you to do that again. You can drive on when it's safe to do so. And that is the end of your emergency stop maneuver. Let's go. Next.